Let's now focus on Pakistan where floods have affected some 33 million people, killed at least 1,314, including 458 children. This according to Pakistan's National Disaster Management Agency. Estimates suggest the floods have caused at least $10 billion worth of damage. Munize Jahangir sent us this ground report from one of the worst affected areas, Balochistan. We are in Balochistan in the area of Hanna Uruk and in the village of Kili Haji Gul Muhammad. Now you can see behind me, this is a house almost completely in ruin. It has been destroyed by the flash floods uh, that Balochistan experienced on the 26th of August. I have with me Abu Bakr and Bilal Muhammad. They are both brothers and where we are standing used to be their room. But it has been completely destroyed by the floods. There is a small stream that runs by. It's usually dry, but on the 26th of August, it swelled up and it came and the water came from that stream right into this area. There are around 18 homes over here, 300 to 350 people live in these homes and it went right up to that border uh, of that house as you can see this used to be a two-storied house but it is now been completely ruined uh, the, the the roof of the houses stand some of the roofs stand the walls have been completely ruined now this is an area which has experienced earthquakes and so uh, people make their uh, roofs with the you know with a lot of attention paid to it being you know um, uh, uh, somewhat uh, sturdy uh, during earthquakes however we have seen that even because because of these flash floods even the roofs have not withstood the flash floods um, we have with us Abu Bakr and Bilal aap kuch batayenge Bilal ye ghar aapka tha ye kamra aapka tha aur jab salab aya to kya hua Abu Bakr ye salab aya thi hum logo इधर ऊपर उधर पहाड़ पे गए थे क्योंकि राजा जी लोगों ने बोला सेला बाहर है ऊपर चढ़ के इधर गरे मरे में बहुत अच्छा होएगा हो हम लोग ऊपर गए ऊपर फिर हम लोग इधर आ रहे थे देख रहे थे बहुत बड़े सेला गए थे हमारे यूनिफॉर्म शर्ट्स जूते वगैरह सारे लेकर गए कुछ भी नहीं एक कपड़े एक शूज एक लेकर गए और सारे सेला लेकर गए आप कहाँ गए जब सैलाब आया तो आप कहाँ थे अच्छा so you can see over here now this is a village but right on top of it is is a small hillock and they have some relatives living there so all of them just ran up to this hill uh, to save themselves but they couldn't save their belongings of course in this area only one person was killed but in all of Balochistan the death toll is over 250 people there are around 250 <coughs> acres of farmland that has been completely destroyed uh, mostly apple orchards and vegetable farms have been completely destroyed ऊपर चढ़ के पार में इधर इधर से बड़ा सेला बाहर है क्योंकि आप लोग अपने को बचाओ वो छोड़ो ऊपर लेकर जाओ फिर हम लोग ऊपर पार में उधर रह गए उधर पार में हम लोग उधर खड़े थे इसको देख रहे थे एक कमरा को और उसको पानी आ रहे थे सारे कपड़े जूते वगैरह सारे लेकर गए बर्तन ये वगैरह तो सारे अब आपकी तबीयत ठीक है बच्चे कह रहे हैं जब मैं बच्चों से बात करती हूं व्हेन आई स्पीक टू द चिल्ड्रन ओवर हियर दे से दैट दे आर नॉट फीलिंग वेल दैट दे हैव स्किन डिजीजेस दैट दे हैव अ स्टमक एक दे हैव डायरिया व्हेन आई स्पोक टू द मदर्स एंड द मदर्स वर नॉट विलिंग टू कम इन फ्रंट ऑफ द कैमरा बिकॉज़ दिस इज अ वेरी कंजर्वेटिव एरिया वेयर वुमेन डू नॉट रियली अपीयर ऑन ऑन टेलीविजन दे से दैट दे वेरी कंसर्नड अबाउट द फ्यूचर ऑफ देयर चिल्ड्रन एंड दे ऑलमोस्ट बिकेम टेरी आइड सिंपली बिकॉज़ दे हैव बीन सिक uh, they don't know when they will go back to school. Look at this house. I mean, the roof of this house, um, uh, the state that it is in, it can collapse at any point. Uh, so these two kids standing in front of their houses, uh, you know, um, they don't know when they will go back to school. Kya masail aa rahe hai aapko? Kis kisam ki peet kharaab hai? Sab thik hai aapka? Nei, maa thik nei. Peet wo bukhar bhot ho re. Ye doctor nei hai. Na doctor hai na kuch hai. दवाई मिली नहीं दवाई भी नहीं मिली अपने घर वाले ले आ रहे हैं हम लोगों को दवाई और ना डॉक्टर आए ना कुछ है कोई भी नहीं है डॉक्टर ने बिजली पानी है ना बिजली है ना गैस ना कुछ है एक वो ये इसको डरते हैं उस ये लकड़ियाँ सी है इसको so you could see also Bilal was coughing right now so people you know children are also coughing he's saying that there are no medicines the doctors are not coming here 
uh, that there is no gas so they are uh, cooking their food on wood and the wood is very hard so it's not easy to burn the wood they are saying there is no electricity in this area there is no easy access to drinking water and now if you if if we move around you can see this entire village in complete ruin uh, nobody can live here the women have been uh, you know taken to either the cities or to the relatives homes uh, men are just here uh, you know camping outside protecting their land protecting what is left of it as you can see you can see the area strewn with uh, with with clothes with shoes with whatever belongings that once belonged to these people over here um walls still standing roofs not there or roofs still standing but walls just hanging on um you know this area is known to be a tourist spot it's supposed to be a beautiful area but at the moment it is just a picture of complete ruin uh, apple orchards have been destroyed wherever i go i see uh, I'll, i'll take you across there i i see um, you know apples uh, strewn across this entire area uh, which is called hanna uruk uh, close to quetta it's around an hour away from quetta you can see these apple orchards look at these apples just here so this used to be their uh, main source of livelihood selling uh, exporting apples to other um, you know countries uh, uh, surrounding neighbors however uh, some of the apples are there but most of these apple orchards have been destroyed by the flash floods and they do not know what's going to happen they also grow okra onions tomatoes those have been completely destroyed so really um, the main question is and 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 most of the areas where there has been flooding it has been because there have been streams that have swelled up or there have been dams that have been broken or uh, there have been uh, uh, bunds uh, you know which have been broken and therefore they have uh, uh, flooded the entire area around them the villages around them and that really uh, is the issue over here bridges have been destroyed over a dozen bridges have been destroyed and um, the people over here are asking uh, pleading to the government that there should be protection walls around these nalas so that you know the water doesn't flow out into the villages i have over here israr is housed a couple of families here in uh, balochistan and i'll speak to him uh, uh, you know some of the relatives uh, in this villages uh, he has some of uh, you know the relatives his relatives are here in the villages israr sahab ye bataiye ab kya aapka mutalba hai hukumat se kyunki jo ho gaya ab ho gaya ab aap keh rahe hain ki aate ki bori mil rahi hai आप कह रहे हैं खैमे मिल रहे हैं क्या नहीं मिल रहा मैम एज इट हैपन ऑन 26 ऑफ अगस्त अ काइंड ऑफ डिस्ट्रक्टिव फ्लड केम इन आवर एरिया बिफोर दैट एट मिडनाइट आई माय सेल्फ एंड माय ब्रदर आसिफ काकर वी रेस्क्यूड ऑल दीस हाउसेस एंड वी टुक देम आउट ऑफ द हाउसेस ऑल द किड्स चिल्ड्रन वर देयर लेडीज and uh, a kind of aged persons were there we took out them uh, and rescued them and uh, uh, we uh, provided them shelter at our uh, own house after that uh, uh, on the right on the second day of the uh, flood we only had here uh, ac nakibula i i must the mention assistant commissioner assistant commissioner of the uh, sadar area uh, nakibula kakar he reached here without any access he got a bike and he reached over here when we saw uh, him so uh, uh, we didn't know him that uh, he is assistant commissioner of our area so we thought uh, as a normal uh, person or uh, any uh, one from our village as he introduced uh, himself so uh, believe so what you're saying is that the assistant commissioner came here he helped you what is it that you want from the government we uh, I, i i must say that uh, government should not uh, uh, limit us till uh, uh, parcel flowers. of uh, flower and a tent they must provide us uh, because we have uh, all our infrastructure has been destroyed from the base we need roads we need uh, gas uh, we need uh, electricity over here we, uh, what about schools 
schools have been uh, destroyed here by this uh, flood some uh, uh, 10 to 11 schools were there uh, in our village that has been destroyed by the flood and uh, houses are there uh, some 80 to uh, 110 houses that has been vanished away washed away by this uh, flood uh, over here so we need these houses to rebuild because we had these houses uh, our uh, parents uh, they uh, constructed these houses uh, last uh, i think some 40 years uh, and so we need again another 40 years to build uh, these houses so we must uh, request our government because we don't have anyone here we are also the Pakistani locals so we requesting our uh, government that they must provide a uh, kind of fund uh, all right all right so I think what they are really wanting the government to do is to uh, demonstrate that they a um, uh, you know are concerned about the local people over here. There are lots of complaints against the chief minister Kadus Pazinjo that he hasn't really been seen around. He hasn't really helped people. Uh, but uh, the government should now give a plan to people what is going to happen next now that the houses are destroyed how will they be helped in re in the reconstruction phase how long can they live uh, with their relatives i think that is the big question and will the infrastructure be improved in pakistan to ensure that when the rains come and if the rains come the rivers and the nalas will not uh, swell up to swallow whole villages